We often want our computers to be able to generate numbers that appear to be random. But what does it mean for a sequence to truly be random? If we take a look at some sample sequences of zeros and ones, we might ask, how random are they? Now, if we were to choose a sequence of zeros and ones of this length randomly, all of these sequences would have the same probability of being chosen, since all sequences of the same length are equally probable. But the fact that they're equally probable doesn't quite capture our intuitions about randomness. This sequence, for example, doesn't feel very random at all. It's just ones. This sequence also doesn't feel very random. There are zeros and ones, but they just alternate. Intuitively, this sequence feels pretty random. And what about this fourth sequence? Maybe it looks pretty random at first, but upon closer inspection, you might notice a pattern. A one followed by a zero, followed by two ones and two zeros, followed by three ones and three zeros, and so forth. And once you notice that pattern, this last sequence doesn't seem so random anymore. That intuition actually gives us a way to approximate what it means to be random. A random sequence in principle should be patternless. We shouldn't be able to identify regularities, like all ones, or consistent alternation, or growing runs of consecutive zeros and ones, or even less obvious patterns that might be harder to find. But what counts as a pattern? Well, in its simplest form, a pattern can be described. This sequence we could describe in English as 12 ones. This sequence we could describe as six ones and six zeros. But for something that feels more random, it's harder to describe. With this sequence, for example, it's hard to think of any simpler description than just writing out what all of the bits are. This then brings us to the concept of Kolmogorov complexity, a way to describe how much information it takes to represent some piece of data. Kolmogorov complexity is defined as the length of the shortest possible description of some piece of data. Of course, the length of the shortest possible description depends a lot on what language we're using to do the describing. So far, we've been using English to do the describing, but we could be a little more precise by using some programming language instead of a natural language. We'll use Python here, for example, but you could use any programming language. The question of Kolmogorov complexity now becomes a question of what's the shortest way you could write a Python expression that evaluates to the sequence in question. With all ones, the description is pretty short. We can just multiply the string one by some number. Alternating zeros and ones isn't much harder. Even something more complex, like our sequences of consecutive zeros and ones that grow in length after each iteration, can be described pretty succinctly in Python. But a sequence that appears more random? Again, it's hard to come up with a shorter description other than just writing down the sequence itself. There are a few details we'll gloss over here that often we'll use a binary description language to describe sequences of binary numbers, or that we'll often use some Turing machine for our description language to avoid unimportant differences between programming languages, for instance. But the key idea here is that we now have some metric, the Kolmogorov complexity, that quantifies how much pattern we can find in some sequence. And using this idea, we can come up with our own definition for what it means for a sequence to be random. A sequence is considered to be random, or more precisely, considered to be Kolmogorov random, if its Kolmogorov complexity is at least as long as the sequence itself. In other words, if we can't come up with a shorter description of the sequence than the sequence itself, then we can call that sequence Kolmogorov random. Kolmogorov complexity turns out to be a useful metric in a number of contexts. It's very related to the notion of the compression of data, for example, converting some longer representation of data into a shorter representation. But it also has its challenges. In particular, Kolmogorov complexity is uncomputable. 
which means not only is there no existing function that can take any sequence and determine its Kolmogorov complexity, it's been proven to be impossible for such a function to exist at all. The idea that not all functions can be computed is a fascinating one, and a topic worth exploring too, but for now, it means that it's impossible in general to calculate what the Kolmogorov complexity is for any given input. But Kolmogorov randomness isn't the only way to define what it means for a sequence to be random. How would you define randomness? What does it mean for some sequence to be patternless or unpredictable? 